Hey guys, this is Manshark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is Millennia in the Making episode 156. We're currently playing as Kaiser Anselm the Great of the Holy Roman Empire. He's the son of Kaiser Arnulf, who himself is the grandson of Kaiser Wilhelm III. Our heir is exactly who he wanted to be, except for the Craven trait, but he's a genius. He's pretty fucking awesome, I gotta say. I'm not sure why Baldwin isn't our heir, but whatever. <clears throat> and we're at war. The Third Holy Roman Hindu Revolt, all the way down here. Just form these guys up, give them some half-decent commanders. Most of our commanders are tied up with our other war, which we'll get to in a moment. It's just a little side thing. Alright, so about 14 is what we're looking for. Yep, it's fine. Good. Now if you go, is there a couple of river crossings here? Tons of them. From basically everywhere. Is there any from Gujaratna? Nope. So you guys can go up to Gujaratna. And from there, I'll give you another thousand troops and you can come down and smash these guys. Now the other war. The Holy Roman Holy War for Merv. That's this area here. We are attacking the Ilkhanate. Because fuck them. Let's get into it. Just seriously, fuck them. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. At the moment, we're sort of in a basically a holding pattern. We are taking this place here. And after we take it, we may assault through the rest of the places there, just to get them done quickly. But we're not attacking this army, because I'm worried that the Mongols have reinforcements in Balkh, Bukhara, or Kiva. Particularly in Kiva, because that's their capital. You can tell because of the uh, coat of arms. And I'd prefer for these guys to actually try and attack us, but every time we... Because of how the AI sees the fog of war, we can only see one province through. See, we own this, we can see one province in. The AI can see two provinces in. So if we were the AI, we'd be able to see Karakum, Kiva, Bukhara, Balk, and uh, probably Kunduz as well, because we have troops here. So basically, they tried to move down into Tus. I made a move to reinforce with the army of Dobromir here, and they saw that and stopped moving. Good, now they're moving down to Herat. Hmm. Mer Babua. Mer Babua. How good is Mer Babua? He's not very good, but there are, you know, a lot of them, and they're attacking into desert. So, I'm going to feint, feint a reinforcement. I'll just manipulate these guys so that they are fainted to arrive just after this army here. Because otherwise we'll move in there and they'll stop their move. We'll take massive losses due to attrition. There we go. Both armies are getting there after this army will apparently get there. So now we just wait for them to say, Oh, wait, sorry guys, didn't really mean it. Which will probably happen on about the 20th. And if they don't, well then we've got a battle. And a battle we should win. <clears throat> Despite them basically being horse archers and not much else. Well, horse archers and cavalry. Got a bit more men there, that's fine. Because they're moving into Merv for some reason. Okay, yep, they've stopped their move into here, so our guys can stop. And now they're moving into Tus again. Now, how long did Reinforce take us? About a month to there. Over a month from there. And about a month there. So, I don't particularly want him attacking into Tus, do I? So, let's do this thing again where we stop him from making the move. And if we don't stop him from making the move, then we reinforce into mountains, which is great. 
This army needs to hurry up and get the hell out of this place, because they're actually giving us attrition. Yeah, see, they stopped their move. This rebel army needs to piss off. They apparently will on the 30th. I'd be interested to see what happens to the supply limit in Herat once we take it. Okay, they're moving back down. That's alright. Um... We're going to take the main holding before they finish their move. Whoops! Forgot to cancel the move here, that's an issue. You guys move out as quickly as possible. 25th of December they move, that's fine. My bad. 29th first, wait a couple more days. There we go. Oh, we've got an adventurer! An adventurer from the Sharazid Shardam. Well, he's only 50 gold to kill. I would prefer that this guy died first, though, so let's not worry too much about him. I doubt we can invite him to my court. Nope. False religion. He won't marry any of my ladies either, because false religion. He'd only be pressing for the Kingdom of Andalusia. But it's something we don't want to have to deal with when we've got Mongols. I'm not going to attack just yet because we're still waiting on what's happening here. This is interesting, he should have stopped by now. Maybe he's actually making the move. Well, let's send those guys in, slowly. No, he's actually doing it. He's actually doing it. Uh, you know what, I want him to do it, so I'm not going to send these guys in just yet. I'm going to wait for him to finish his move. 1st of February... Where is it? There we go. And our guys moved in just in time. We've out-personnelled them, we've out-matched them. The only issue is that they can use this damned swarm bullshit. Which is house, house, uh, horse archer offensive. House archer offensive? What? Plus 300%, so they're really good at what they do. Let's just keep our guys moving in. I don't want them to have to move in, but the option is there, and yes, they're moving a lot of troops in, so we need to start really moving our guys up. Yeah, these guys up to there, these guys follow them like that. Right, this is it. We are doing them a little bit of wonders in the middle. But if this army joins in too quickly, then, well, we're going to have an issue. 10th of March is when we need to start considering things. We've got another army moving in here, another five grand. We've got a fleeing flank. You guys stop moving, keep moving. Stop moving, keep moving. All I'm doing there is making it so that we're not moving in before we need to. And my phone just went off. Hmm. Oh well, only a message. We've got more important things to deal with. Let me just put it on silent. That's actually a thing I can do. Yeah. Amazing. We've beaten one of the Mongol armies. And we killed 18,000 of them. That's a lot of Miltech. Are they still moving? They are no longer moving. That's why you need to just be careful of what you do with your troops. Now, I'm going to send the 
16,000 man force back south. Get them out of the way, stop attrition from happening, you know, the usual. Good fight, Mongol. What's next? Oops. Yep, again, I've buggered up with the attrition issue. You guys should actually head down there. 2nd of April, that's fine. And the rest of you guys can stop your moves. That's good. All good. And you guys can move down. Thank you. Right. There's an army we have to worry about. 52,000 men. Led by Mad Dea. This guy. Who's actually pretty good at defense. Where does he live? Up here in Shridaya. Let's see if that's affected our kill chance. certainly has. 50 gold failed. Un involvement is still unknown. Oh, come on. Well, he took a wound, so that's reduced his martial ability. Dude, I can keep doing this for a while. Good, he's dead. So who's in control of that army now? Mer Goyag. Mer Goyag. Goyag, Goyag, Goyag. This guy. Not very good, are you? I'm glad. Now, we can see that they're in Merv, so let's just... We want to be really fucking careful about this. I just want to see who else is in Merv. This guy is. We're trying to murder him already, I feel. Yeah. Not much we can do there. Uh, let's see. This one's in Merv. But he's not exactly wonderful. I'm just looking for any weird oddities. This guy's very defensive. He'll only be 50 gold. Okay, well, we killed him, but unfortunately the poisoner was apprehended. That's an issue. We're probably about to die. Maybe. I'm very cautious about that, so let's continue getting our stab on without unpausing the game. Now uh, we could just assassinate the Kargan and that would really deal with everything, but you know. <clears throat> I don't particularly want to assassinate the Kargan because then this guy will take control. Okay, so we're looking at anybody else in Merv. Most of your guys are in Merv, aren't they? This guy's good at defense. Can we just murder him? Yep, good. When you throw money at a problem, eventually that problem goes the fuck away. Like, why are all my guys dying? This guy's pretty good at defense. Oh, come on. Well, he died, but unfortunately, people blabbed my name. Yeah, so, the Kargan here will probably have a variety of, well, murder chances on us. Jeez, this guy's not bad, but he's actually a landholder, isn't he? Yeah, so he's a bit harder to kill. We're just trying to kill the ones that we can easily get rid of. That was why we just checked out. This guy's in Merv. He's dead. <laughs> uh, we're really being nasty right now, aren't we? He's in Miyama. He's in Miyama. I don't care about ones in Miyama. I don't care about him. Makatulu. Miyama, Merv. Don't care. That's Hetman Alchi. Mayama for him. Mayama for him. Merv for Buri here. He's got a bit of defensive ability, so let's uh, get him stabbed. Come on. There we go. So that's three guys who we've uh, had blab our name. So, <clears throat> unless I'm sorely mistaken, 
Oh, she's actually really good at it, isn't she? Can we assassinate her? For 250. Dead. Just to make sure, because I'm, it might be using her stats instead. But she's dead, so, uh, good. Right. Focus, subby. I think we've basically gone through the list here. Yeah, we had. So let's go through the list here. He's leading troops, but we'll deal with him in a moment. He's leading them in Mayama. Right, so this guy's the only one left who's actually a major issue for us. And a major issue. He's got like 60% defensive stats. I got the money for it. He died. Perfect. Now, let's watch me die horribly in the return assassinations, which I'm honestly not too worried about, because we're pretty old anyway, and most a lot of our vassals don't like us, because, you know, we change succession laws and all that sort of thing. And Almeric here is just fucking phenomenal. Come at me, bros. Come at me, all of you, all of you assassins. No? Huh. Oh, we've got a little battle going on. Right, I actually forgot that, you know, these guys were coming down. My bad. So we're going to try and stop them from doing that by moving all of our troops there before they move in. May not be successful. But hey, if it is, great. We've won this battle anyway. Good. They are still moving. All 66,000 of them. Now, our army isn't going to get out of Farah for a little bit, so let's just do that. So they should get there before they move out. 5th of May, 3rd of May, 22nd of April. Right. I think we've got a good chance here. These guys are moving, right? Yep. Yep, good, good. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still a little bit worried about this, but... You know. Why is our spy master insulting us? This guy wants control of Vestfold. He should probably have control of Vestfold. So we'll give him that. Uh, yep, thank you. Thank you. And now will you end your plot? You will. Wonderful. That adventurer is still hanging around. Let's uh, start a murder plot against him. One which should work. These. Are they still moving down to Herat? They are. The 18th. Okay, so we've got 19,000 troops there. We can expect to have about 17 by the time they get there. Um, got another 18 and another 15 here. So let's let's call that 25. So that's, what, 30,000 troops, and we've got another 21. We don't have enough troops, but we've got further reinforcements coming in. <coughs> slowly. Don't get me wrong, it's slowly. But they are coming in. And we're just going to have to remember to stop everybody from moving around, if they stop moving around. But I kind of don't think that they're going to. I kind of think that they're going to actually come at us pretty rough. Let's just have another check of who's where. Merv. Ooh, you're not bad, so let's get you killed. Oh, they told his name. 
Oh, that's a shame. He, now he's dead. Whoops. You're in Merv. You're in, I'm. Oh, he's got a bit of a defensive thing, but he also takes 150, and he's got a very difficult chance to actually kill. And I'll probably kill this guy in the future anyway. Okay, let's keep on going through this list. You're in Fagana, don't care about that. You're in Shredaya, really don't care about that. You. Ooh, that's a trouble. Yeah, he's a holy warrior, so he gets a massive defense or oh, damage bonus against us. Kill him. I said, kill him. And now he lost where he was. Fuck no. Was that him there? No, it was... This guy, right? Yeah. Well, he is maimed, at least. But that's not good enough. He's dead. <sighs> so, this is the advantage of having a lot of money. A lot of people, as I believe I've mentioned previously, think that this particular application of the assassinate button is cheating. And those people are the same people that say, oh, you should just go into the console and just type slash die. We're still paying a lot of money here to kill people. And honestly, we saved it up for the purpose of killing people like this. So, uh... Fuck it. You know, we're doing what we do. And when we get a huge chance to assassinate somebody with no risk of discovery, I'm all for it. Okay, where are the rest of you? You. Sure thing. The more people we can kill like this, the more people we can just drive out. He may just do the thing where you generate vassals, just to get more. But I'm hoping that the ones that he generates will be shitter. Like this guy, this guy's nothing. To me. That was Alchi. Okay, this is good, this is good. It doesn't look like he's got too many people left. Yeah, excellent. Right. And his heir is leading troops. No, he isn't. Good. Come at me, bro. My brethren. Yes. Come in a manner towards me, my brethren. Let's be very uh, eloquent about this. Three days. Here it comes. There we go. Right, so. Immediately we can see that they've got trouble on this flank, trouble on this flank. The middle is what we need to worry about. So now all of our guys should be piling in. They've still got 13,000 guys coming. <clears throat> this is it. We will lose... Okay, that's good. We were losing morale in the center. Not on the center, on the right flank and a bit on the center. Now we're dealing them some damage over here. Get in there. These guys will get in in a few days. These guys are also going to get in in a few days, but we should be able to outnumber them. Thousands of people will die. Okay, this is good. Our, our right flank is an issue. Somehow. Probably due to the fact that they're using the swarm tactic, whereas the other ones are using the harass tactic. Which doesn't do very well for anybody but light cavalry in their retinues. And horse archers are just fucking hacks to begin with. We're going to take so much attrition when this is over. We have now outnumbered the Mongols for two days. Yes, a great two days it is. <clears throat> Alright. Let's keep it going. We still outnumber the Mongols. And now we're in melee. 
Getting to melee with the Mongols is incredibly important. Because horse, arch horse archers ain't shit in melee. Okay, now I'm kind of moving our troops around a little bit weirdly, and I'm doing that because I fully intend to wipe this army out. We've got a collapse on their left flank, and the center. Come on. Oh, and the steward sent us some money. Okay. Yep, the left flank is fleeing. Uh, we... don't have to technically inject this army in. We're still going to do it, just to be absolutely sure. Uh, no, we no longer have to inject that army in, so we'll just hold them... Hold them off. Oh, We've lost a lot of men. Ah, oh, we've got a... Uh... Yep, good, we're getting murdering on that guy, that adventurer. We lost 30,000 men in that battle, but we killed 44,000. Now, the armies which are damaged need to retreat. So there's only two of those. The other ones are going to see where the Mongols are fleeing. They're fleeing to Mayama up here. How many Mongols are there left? 18,000. Ah, uh, the 3,000 man army needs to fuck off back down there. Okay. So, very soon actually a lot of them will start moving out, which is good because the attrition is going to be hell. This army up here has moved over from Konjakala. How many troops you got left? 43,000. Exceptional. <clears throat> Exceptional. Okay, we've got a slight battle over here, but they're already fleeing. And they're going to get... our guys are going to reinforce them fairly shortly. In two days. Uh, patience is a virtue. It certainly is, and Almeric is patient. <sighs> well, I cannot tell you how glad I am that we won that battle. We're going to chase these Mongol bastards all the way to the ocean if we have to. The other ocean. Okay, yep, chase them up. <clears throat> How many of them are there left? Still a good 18,000. So we do want to be chasing them with the 30k. Okay, we killed the guy, and nobody noticed. We've got really odd... Wow. He's a faction member of a lot of places. Come on, dude. Have some money. Man up about things. I don't know what the King of Arabia has done, but he's apparently incapable. Alright. Right. Let's continue. These guys attack their thing? Yes, and we're actually going to have them attack their thing. I mean, the Mongols are easily faster than us. Easily faster than us. But that's alright. Let me just check our guys... Oh, wow. 
That was not one of our holy orders. We have lost a lot of retinue. No, we haven't. What the hell has happened, then? Is this for holy order? Yes, this is actually the holy order. Okay, um, well, I'm going to let them get back here, and then I'm going to put them down. Actually, these guys are probably holy order as well. You know what? You guys can sit together. I'm fine with that. Where are these guys fleeing to? Back to Mayama. Great. Ah, uh, that's where the other holy order is. We have lost troops from a retinue. But apparently it doesn't want to let us reinforce those for reasons. Reasons, perhaps. Good. Successfully took that barony. We just have our guys sit there. The main thing we have to do is chase these fuckers around. We do have 100% war score, so we could offer peace. But, well, that could crash your game to begin with, and I want to obliterate this army. It must all die. How am I getting sight up here? Oh, because of my uh, spy master, of course. Well, my spy master can do something else. Now oh, in September, good. Oh, how's that Hindu rebellion? Oh, it moved. Okay, well, go up and take care of it. No peace in our time. No peace. Okay, so they're actually putting up a little bit of a fight now because their morale recovered enough. That's alright though, we are in an incredibly dominant position right now. Killed another 4,000 of them. And yet again, they're fleeing back to bulk, we'll just keep following them like that. They are going to occasionally get little reinforcements, but hopefully we can ward those reinforcements off. How are you dudes doing? <sighs> yes, yeah, so we're going to have to have a little bit of a period of rebuilding where we basically get the retinue down wherever it is. The retinue which doesn't have enough... Hey, was that one of these guys? Was that actually this force? Yeah, we haven't actually lost any retinue units. It's just that one of them was undermanned to begin with. That's fine. Wow. Uh, another raving mob of Hindu... Rebels have risen up, hopefully not in a very bad location. That's actually a very bad location. Because now they're all joined up and there's 12,000 of the little blighters. And somehow I don't think we've got enough troops to deal with that in the area. Hmm. Oh, we can always get the Baluchistan King's stuff. Yeah, it'll do us. They're also taking attrition because, you know, rebels. See, rebels take attrition? Why shouldn't the Mongol hordes? And battle. Nice battle as well. Yeah, come on, join in, bro, buddies. Join in, I'll kill you all. The Mongols run away very quickly. So, okay, we've got a guy called Schiller. The Mongols run away very quickly, so it's hard to really diminish them. Schiller is a very good steward. Hmm. Alright, well, good on him. How are we doing here? I'm going to attack that place. You guys can attack that place. We don't need to be attacking these places now. I mean, we've got 100% war score. I'm just kind of hoping that maybe we could increase the supply limits so it doesn't get quite ridiculous. 
But, you know, that's probably a false thing. All right, so the Mongols actually attacked... Not the Mongols, the Hindus actually attacked us in those provinces. I did not expect them to do that. Well, that's my bad entirely. It's a huge issue, actually. Let's put all those guys down so that they can reinforce. And I'm just going to take this army over here and deal with the damn problem. <coughs> Yeah, there's only, well, only a few of you left. Um, I'm going to force Anselm to learn how to fight. He is now brave. Good. Wonderful, there's only 6,000 of them left. I'll only send two armies at them this time. And leave the other one here in this place to besiege it. That may make these guys come down even harder, but that's alright. Completely fine with that. This place is fully occupied. So I'm going to set this force down here to replenish. And these guys can come up that way. Just check. Yep, good, that's perfect. Perfect. <sighs> and we can reassign our spy master to do what he does best, which is spy on Sri Lankans. How many troops you got left? Still 44,000. That's odd. You shouldn't have that many left. So what we'll probably do is uh, conquer his entire realm, you know, march across his entire realm if we can, just to see how we do. Okay, now they're moving up to Bukhara, that's fine. I'll actually follow them up there. Oh, 23,000 supply limit up there? Very nice. You guys can join together. You guys can actually stay there. Yeah, because I just want to see if he's got if he's got another army hanging around somewhere. I'd like to know about it. And deal with it appropriately. Fucking rebels. Always rebelling in my shit. The part I converted. Well, they're not moving, so that's good. Samaritan uprising in Italy, that's all the way up here. That's a bunch of Jewish guys. Uh, Elenia. Good. Volga Bulgaria. You won't join in. That's fine. Alania, could you take care of those rebels for me, buddy? You don't need to come down here and face off against the Okanat. I got them. King of Arabia died. I hope he was replaced by somebody reasonable. His son, King Jacob. Okay. Of the Von Arasberg family. That's fine. That's yes, good. All I want you to do is kill the rebels. That's it. Yeah, no big Mongol armies in the area, just these guys. Who we will defeat. There's a somewhat substantial army. Fifteen grand. Ah, oh, we kidnapped this guy while we was in prison. Well, um, unfortunately, my friend, uh, well... Where are they going? Balk. Let's follow them. 
15,000 ain't shit. I can deal with 15,000, and it looks like he's only just raised them up, too. Bug you and T. Bug you and T. He must be a courtier. Yes, this guy. Ooh, pretty good, actually. Failed to kill him. Failed to kill him. Failed to kill him, but they did maim him. Failed to kill. Massive negative opinion. Good. Died and all that. Alright. I'm not expecting a murder plot back because, you know, kid and all that sort of business. Maybe we should kill his regent. Just to be on the safe side. Yep, there we go. Ah, sneaky. Sneaky. Raising up troops to try and stop me from moving. We'll get out of there on the 2nd of February. They'll get here on the 5th, from the look of it. I woke up to find a shadowy finger, figure climbing in the window. I yelled for help, and the guards burst in, seizing the assassin just as he stabbed me in the shoulder. Kagan Toktamas sent him. So now we're wounded. That's fine. I honestly don't care if this guy dies. It would be nice for him to wait another, you know, two and a bit years, or whatever, until Almeric here levels up. But we'll just have to see. Why are they just coming in and trying to stab me like that? That's really weird. Okay, so we can attempt to have the Kargan assassinated, or we can forgive and forget. If we attempt to have him assassinated and it fails, he can have another attempt at us, etc, etc, etc. I don't care that this kid is the Kargan right now, so I'll forgive and forget. He's not the problem. His regents, his advisors, they're the problem. We just have to deal with them. Fifth of February is when they get here. But I should be long gone before then. Uh, the old wound has finally healed. It took like a few days. So now we're scarred instead of wounded. Which is good. It's absolutely fine. We move on to the 3rd of February. The Kargan is still offering us peace that we're not accepting. Because fuck him. We have a Jain uprising down here. Is it that one? No, that's for Hindus. We'll move up like that. Yeah, we have a Jains. Ah, down there. Well, this army looks like it's got its work cut out for it for the moment. Okay, so now they're moving into Balk. That's fine. That's fine. We should have this fight dealt with in a moment. We do. There's only 999 of them left. And they're heading into Samarkand? Well, I'm going to follow them because, as you can see, it's 912 of 74,000 and 44 of 2400. 24,000. I want them all dead. Every single one of them, just in case. Okay, these guys are coming down into Merv. And they're coming down on the 19th of March. So, wait four days. Now I've got some guys turning up there on the 20th of March. Which will stop his move. Very good. I don't mind him being able to see me do that because I am actually in his territory now. So I, I actually wanted him to stop that move for the moment. So the 15th and the 25th is when these armies move. And these guys down here are still slowly making their way through stuff. Move a little faster guys. <clears throat> well, it's been a fairly exciting episode. We've still got about 10 minutes left, so 
we might be able to do some really nasty things with the rest of these Mongols. Okay, they're just making their move up there now. Did they combine their armies or something? Because that's just weird. Tell Atlas converted, Pope likes us a bit more. Complete wipeout. And now we're going to send our armies this way into the steppes to fight Mare Al Chidai's army. He's not that great. We should be able to handle him with the men we've got here. They'll get there on the 16th. Yes, I did revoke your title. I'd like to send this force through like that. I'm concerned about this army here taking attrition. Because I know we've got the supply limit there. Along the, uh, what river is this? God, I don't even know what river this is. It doesn't have a name. Probably the Samarkand River or something like that. Alright, yeah, let's start pushing our armies up a little bit. Because when I said I was going to deal with the Mongol Scourge, I meant I was going to deal with the Mongol Scourge. permanently. Yeah, these guys have already taken a bit of attrition, but it's not too much to be concerned about. I'm not worried about any attrition these guys could take, because they are hitting up a fairly substantial army now. They're looking good so far. We'll move out on the 16th. Oh, looks like we had a battle down here. We captured this fellow who is completely unimportant. Okay, let's chase him down into Lahore then. And then after that we're going to have to come down here and deal with the Jeans. Come on! Looks good. Looks very good for us. Ah, uh, good, that battle went fine, so these guys can come down here and deal with the Jains while I tell the Hindu uprising to end. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. That's fine. These guys are fine in there. They'll reinforce up to their appropriate, amount, appropriate amounts. These guys are fine. They're slowly sieging through. These guys are moving through. This is good. This is very good. Yep, we've hit melee up with them. We lost a commander over on this side. And we've just had the Hindus uprise again. Are you serious, guys? I just finished dealing with you. Like, only just finished. God. The quicker we can convert those places, the better. Even without a leader, the army is doing fine. And we killed 95,000 of them. So which of you lost the leader? You did. Well, have a new bloke. And this one didn't have one at some point anyway. So... Have a new bloke. Now, chase this army down into Oshrasana. Oshrasana. Just chase them. Kill him dead. All that sort of business. How many troops you got left, bro? 35,000. Well, let's keep dealing with that. You're no better than the Deccan Empire at this stage, and you're only slightly better than the Bengals. Ah, well, hmm. 
aim to make you worse than the Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre at some point. Let's see how well you do there. My son is actually heir to the Knights of Calatrava. So if we offed this guy, who is currently working for us, I'll, you know, remind you, our son would be in charge, which is awesome. We're not going to off that guy. I don't think we've got anybody to off at this current stage. Maybe the car and after, or the car gun after we take this place, just so that we can get a quick second hit at him. <sighs> this has been a great episode for us. Good, those guys are in position. Ah, just attack the place. A lot of messages. Nothing I'm terribly concerned about. And probably here as well. Yeah, some factions doing some things. A lot of factions disbanding, so somebody must have died who was in charge of a faction. Or, because we had war declared on us. Jeez, Gavelkind succession in Sweden is not looking good for us. 32%. 14% for independence, 10% there. Uh, we're really going to have to deal with this. You shouldn't be a member of a faction anymore because you... No, it was the other one that went away. Ah, let's increase his opinion of me. Good. And we already gave him an honorary title, so we can't give him any more. Maybe that'll tell him to get out, and anybody that he's blackmailed into it could, you know, piss off. Though I doubt he's blackmailed too many, Gavelkind is a really popular uh, faction for people to support because it reduces my power base, that sort of thing. But not really my power base, it will make Sweden go away from the HRE. Speaking of, how's Jerusalem looking? 12 years. Okay, that's fine. England is 44, 49. Yeah, right. Jerusalem is really the big one that we've just got to be careful of because I don't want it to become de jure part of the HRE. So, I may release it after this war. Maybe. We'll see. We still have to deal with the Golden Horde. Who should show up within the next 20 years up here and they should declare war on Kyrgyz. They may declare war on me if if um, the Ilkhanate holds all of Kyrgyz because I believe that they declare war starting at Kyrgyz, then Uzhar, then Ket, then Narim, and then Chura. And it's a declaration of war for the kingdom of Cumania. Usually. Once again, the battle goes well for us. Taste some of your own damn medicine. Uh, we ended the Samaritan Revolt. So I guess our ally helped us out. And we kidnapped this guy. Now this guy is really good at his job. So... No mercy. Thank you, Elenia. Thank you very much. Where are they going? Back down to Bukhara. So let's follow them. Nothing like a bit of uh, rampant murder. Uh, Almeric wants to know why we let the peasant off. He has gained the kind trait. I think he already had that. On the 11th of September, we'll move into Bukhara. Never forget. And yeah, this is actually coming along very nicely for us. Very nicely indeed. We may not have to actually... No, we'll stop these guys moving for the moment. And we'll just keep on invading. Alright. Good, good. Let's have this battle here and then we'll consider wrapping it up. Not the war, just the episode. I 
I really want to drive the Ilkhana down, and yes, they're, they are getting driven down quite significantly now. They're fourth highest, they used to be second. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. A lot of messages. Nothing important, people are just dying around the place. Guess we guess we better check the armies that we can check without disrupting sieges. Yeah, everything is looking fine. Here comes the battle. Or the next battle. Now we successfully besieged a place down there. Alright. Okay, we killed all of those Mongols. Let's head over here to take on this army. 4th of October, 4th of November, 20th of October. So we just let these guys move. Because this province has a supply limit of 23,000. So does this one, actually. Which means we can start splitting these two armies up and letting them replenish properly. Hmm, good. We just have to give these guys a chance to move out before we send these guys across the river. Perfect. And I'm not going to move any more guys up there, we're just going to keep these guys here for the moment. Just to, you know, not have them deal with anything. Just check out the rest of the place, see how things are going. Hmm. Can we offer you money? Oh, we can. And that means you're vassal to us. Exceptional. Now, is that going to piss off anybody? Ah, it shouldn't. Not too much. That's good. That gives us all of Ireland. When he accepts that vassalization. And the Jains moved, not the Jains, the Hindus moved out. Irritating. Good, very smart decision my friend. So now we own all of that. Amazing. <sighs> Well, I'm very pleased by our performance in this war. Very pleased. In fact, there might be some more medals to go around with the troops. In fact, what would be kind of neat would be if Cumania decided to declare war on them, Turkestan maybe decided to declare war on them. You know, if everybody else just sort of said, oh, well then, fuck you then, son. You know? That would be really cool. Okay, I'm gonna send 13,000 men that way. So these guys are already trying to run down into Kundas. And yeah, that'll give us an appropriate amount of supply and all that sort of stuff. How are we doing down here? They ran away again! Well, we should catch them this time. Yep, we caught them this time. Then we're going to have to go and deal with these Jains who have probably almost besieged that place down. How irritating. Where are you running to? Dibble. Good. And then you can come around like that. Let's finish off the Hindu uprising, then we'll call an end to the episode. Uh, so, my son, handsome here, would like to be gregarious, sure thing. Good, they're trying to head over here, I'm not sure why, because we still have troops there. So, fine, you, you can do that, buddy. That's fine. Of note, they seem to have hired mercs, 29th of December. 30th of January, 
you know what, I'm fine of them having, you know, that many mercs running around because they'll eventually stop somewhere and I'll kill them. Yeah, nice and simple. <clears throat> okay, and there's the battle. Wonderful, that is a victory over the fourth Hindu revolt. And they'll continue their move. Everything up here is good, so let's call that the end of the episode. So, as usual, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Leave them below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you enjoyed it so much that you'd, uh, well, like to see more, please subscribe. In the meantime, though, I have been Sub. You have been yourselves. Later.